Hi, I'm Thatch Wynn, founder of Thatch Real Estate Group. So I want to share with you eight factor of the uh, real estate market that affect when you are selling your home. Okay, so I wrote down eight things I want to share with you. So number one, school system, right? These days, I mean, if you're in a great school district, right, you're going to get lots of people that actually want to move into the neighborhood. But if you're not in a great school district, it's okay, you know, because what you pay for back then and what you sell it for today is still an appreciation depending on when you bought it. But school factor is really, really important right now for a lot of buyer I noticed that's coming into the area. Number two factor, uh, proximity to transportation. Of course, you know, with all the transit now in Seattle, the closer you are to transit and bus line, right, uh, to, you know, maybe to easy access to transportation, the more buyer want to actually move close to that, okay? Number three, uh, ideal location. The more closer I notice that you are closer to, uh, uh, you know, like area like downtown Seattle, you know, lots of retail, you know, um, you know, just the, 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 the ideal area in the Puget Sound, the more hot of the area is, the more you're going to get for your home, okay? Safety, right? Uh, an area that feels safe, people are going to pay more for it. An area that feels not as safe, they're not going to pay as much for it, okay? Uh, number uh, five. Condition of the bathroom and the kitchen. These days I noticed that buyers really love kitchen and bath. You know, as they are remodeled, right? People are like this ooh, ooh, ooh over when they walk into a home. So if you're gonna sell your home, right? Uh, and you have an opportunity to update your kitchen and bath, it makes a big selling point, okay? Next, overall condition of the home. We notice right now that when a home has been remodeled, they tend to get more for it because there's a lot of first-time home buyers don't have the money to buy the home and also have money to fix the property. So if the home's already fixed up, you just get a better chance of getting more money for it than a home that need work, okay? Uh, approximately to amenities. Um, you know, just said earlier, when you are close to uh, stores and grocery stores and bus and you know what I mean? And, and laundry mats, all the area, the more closer, the more thing that's around those area, the more people tend to live. Now right now, Capitol Hill is one of the examples that has just a lot of amenities and people are just flocking to Capitol Hill, okay? And the last thing, access to employment in the area. So right now we have such, uh, you know, we got one of the top five big companies on here, Boeing and Microsoft and Amazon and Google, right? All these areas, if you live close to any of those areas, you're gonna get a lot of money for your home. And so, you know, something to consider when you sell your home. Now, if you're not in those area, again, don't worry because the real estate market is still good in Seattle right now because the lack of inventory is low all across the Puget Sound. But if you're close to those kind of employment, it just, there's a, you know I mean, a premium people will pay for that, okay? So, if you have any questions on these factors, uh, you know, you know how to get a hold of us. That's realestategroup.com. All right. Until then, you guys, remember, always dream big and serve unconditionally.